Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to install exam and to create your first website using exam. So the first thing that you should do is to download exam. So let's use the navigator and type exam with double P. And here let's download this, uh, let's uh, open this first link. And in this uh, website, I, we can download exam for different operating systems. So I will download exam for Windows. Then I can save installer on my computer. But in my case, I have already downloaded it. So I will cancel this download and I will use the installer that I have already downloaded, which is this one. So let's run it. So for this warning, it is not a big problem. So we have just to click on OK. And in this window, let's click on Next. So we can accept this default configuration of the installations, and then we can click on Next. So this is uh, the folder where exam will be installed. It is directly installed on the C drive. We can accept this, then let's click on Next. For the language, let's select English, then Next. We can open this page, but we can not open it. It is not a very important page. Of course, you can see it if you like, but in my case, I will uncheck this box and click Next. Now the installation will start, so let's click on Next. Of course, the installation requires a few minutes. It requires about four minutes, so you should be patient during the installation. And now, as you can see, the installation finished successfully. So uh, uh, if we want to start exam, it is possible to check this box. So we can start exam once we click on finish. So let's do this. So this is the window of uh, exam. And uh, if we click on Explorer, in fact, we will open the location where exam is installed. So as you can see, there is no shortcut created for exam. So we can create a shortcut on the desktop uh, for this executable byte. So I will do this. Let's create a shortcut for this uh, executable file. Send to desktop. This allows us to obtain this shortcut which is useful to start exam. Now we can close this folder if we, if we want. And here, as you can see, we have different services and you can start the Apache to start the web server. You can start also MySQL to start the database management system. So let's start both of these two, start. So the Apache is now using these two ports for HTTP and HTTPS. And let's also start MySQL. So now MySQL is running and is using this for number. So if we want to create a simple web page, we can go to the Explorer. And here, uh, our web pages should be located in the HP docs. So the Apache server, in fact, is serving the different files that are available in the HP docs. So let's create a simple uh, PHP file. Let's call it hello. So in this file, in fact, I will just create a simple PHP uh,
So in this file, I will just create a simple PHP uh, program that allows me to uh, show a simple web page. So I will just make a copy of a simple uh, HTML and PHP code, which is this one. It allows us to, to show a window with this title and to show this title in the navigator. Also, we will show uh, this uh, welcome message as the text. So let's save this file. And to, uh, to test it, we have to go to the navigator. And here we have just to provide the path for the uh, PHP file. So it is localhost. Then the file name is called hello dot php and as you can see we obtain the content that is already available in the php file so using uh, example it is possible also uh, to start php my admin to do this you have just to click on admin mysql and admin and uh, here php my admin will be opened and it is possible, of course, to create uh, a new database or to add a new table into an existing database. So uh, if you want to stop the different running services, it is possible to click on stop. This allows the different services to be stopped. Also, it is possible to cancel the exam application, not using this button, but you have to so to cancel the exam application you have to go to this icon of exam and right click then keep so i hope at the end that this video was useful for you if you like it please subscribe to the channel